Hey everyone, Dave here and welcome to Demeter Overview. This is gonna be one of the first, if not the first, fully fledged like game for the mixed reality technology. So far we were getting like updates to certain games that already existed and this feature was treated as a rather mini game expansion to the main plot lines. But this is actually dipping into the MR territory of gaming. So Demeter is a narrative adventure platformer game where a mysterious ship has drifted into our world with a companion that asks us to save her realm using a variety of mechanics that involve your play space. First of all, the devs should eat some cake, <laughs> cause in the description they are mighty confident that they revolutionized the gaming industry with over-exaggerated terms that don't reflect at all in the trailer. My thing with MR is quite mixed, no pun intended. In a lot of cases, it doesn't really make that much difference playing something in pass-through comparing to the full VR experience. To make it worthwhile, it has to actually interact, modify and just transform the gameplay going on depending on your surroundings and just make it a part of the whole project. The concept and the ambience easily reminds me of Mixture. Nothing really high-end, most likely was developed for Quest 2. Nowadays platformers can go either Either way, depending what new features will be introduced besides the mixed reality gimmick. Like on the first glance it seems nothing special, so everything pretty much lies in how the game is gonna react with my own play space, which is very limited, so we'll see how this whole shebang will adjust. Nothing's worse than your environment getting in the way of your gameplay, which a lot of MR stuff does and it's just breaking the whole immersion, which is primarily why I value VR more than that, but I'm ready to be proven otherwise and we'll have to see if it's actually a new age of gaming. Let's go save Demeter. Yeah, the perspective might be a bit weird here. Peacefully, my living room. By Asteria, Echo, can't you see him on the ground? Stand me up! Echo! Why don't you get me up? Oh, ancestors, it seems she's not hearing me. Ugh! Echo! If this is a joke, it sucks! And if it's payback for our fight, I find it real petty! Stop it, Echo. I'm not amused. I can hear critters. You know this is a danger zone. Come on. Stand me up, but just like in training. Echo, please. You have to get me up with button A or button B. I can hear beasties. Ah! Who the heck are you? It's really not Echo, that's for sure. Was that you standing me up? My ancestors. All right, I hope you can hear me. I can't believe I'm talking to that giant creature. I'm Atalanta. And obviously, you're the one moving me about. It's usually Echo's job, but I think she lost the link and you somehow latched onto it. Listen, pilot. You'll have to help me find my ship. It should be close by. I hope it's not too damaged. I intend to head back as soon as my mission here is accomplished. Okay, so she's in my toilet. Pretty much. At last something I can like kind of see. 
I mean, it would be nice if I could turn the whole world. Okay. So I can kinda adjust. Where I'm not gonna fall from the bed. <laughs> So she's here, and the model isn't that bad, honestly, in terms of the detail. Because the environment is kind of simplistic, but she is fine, like, I don't think it came across on the trailer, really. Ugh, what the heck is this thing? Wow, now that is unusual. There's some combat. I'll be pretty much just walking around, but I have a stationary guardian, so... Every single time turning this... Might be an option, though. I would like to spin it. Okay. It's just nice that there is an actual solution for people who don't have that much space for once. Make me jump with A. B is useful for many other things. Pilot? Why or how? <laughs> Sorry, I just every once in a while have to be doing this. Although it would be nice to spin it like live. But then again, I'm steering here, so. And she's going to my wall again. <laughs> Can I extract her from the wall? It is a little bit unusual gameplay, but press B to release my grip. It could have been so much worse with the accessibility. Where is she jumping? Oh, I have to pass there. I should wake up eventually. <laughs> Come here. Oh, why you're there? Problem is that we need to reach the checkpoint in order to spin or like move the environment because then she resets. Not necessarily optimal, but if there's no other choice. 
Alcati. Ah. <risos> oh, you're really too cute. I'll call you Thor. The monster or me? <risos> Look here, pilot. That's a crystal. I'm from Asteria, and it's quite far from here. We harness the crystal, and it provides us with tremendous energy. However, for a while, that resource has been corrupted. I've come here to find out why and to find a solution. As you have understood, without your help, I cannot move a muscle. That's why I'm paired up with a pilot during my missions. It's usually Echo, my friend who handles this. I... We'll just talk about it later, all right? The levels are relatively small. Really? Problem is now, just like with a lot of mixed reality stuff. Wait, this is the same level. Did I come back or something? Oh, okay. I don't necessarily see the appeal of that tech in usage just like that. Like this is easily could be in the virtual reality and it would be just as much enjoyable. Sure it's cute to walk around and like see the environments from your living room but that's still not the Oh we've been here. What the hell? <laughs> usage I would expect from this tech. Now I need to figure out where I am because apparently I'm going back. <laughs> and it's so, not like I know to what island I'll be transporting to. Then I'll just end here. And there is some kind of map for a guidance where we would end up depending where we stay for. I think overall the game seems fine to me. Again, I don't necessarily see the point of MR features here. At least for now that I didn't see a single interaction between the player and the environment besides moving the islands. Speaking of which, the game handles well small enclosed spaces so if i can play this then everybody will be able to which is a nice touch from the dev the models are nice the environments are okay it's for sure a nice vibe of starting the adventure and then seeing what will happen next so it's test true to the genre we will continue this maybe but i would have to switch to my home for more like freedom of movement and utilizing the full potential of this game so we'll have to see